A driven dimension is created in a drawing. The dimension's displayed value is based upon the geometry selected when the dimension is created. Driven dimensions are only displayed in the drawing that they are created in and cannot be used to update the geometry of a model. They are driven by the model's geometry. When a model's geometry changes, driven dimensions referencing that geometry will update accordingly. In this drawing, the location of these two holes are defined by this 14 dimension from the center of the holes to some location located near the center of the model. In order to manufacture this part, a dimension needs to be added that references the right edge of the model, something that can be referenced when locating the center of the hole. Before creating that dimension, let's make this one into a reference dimension. To do this, select the dimension, right-click, and select Properties. In the Display tab, add a suffix of ref, indicating that it's a reference dimension. Note that the dimension could have also just been erased. To create the new dimension, open the Annotate tab in the Annotations group. Click Dimension New References. To define the driven dimension, select the edge of the part and then the outer edge of the hole. To define the dimension's attachment to the hole, click Center in the Menu Manager and then middle click here to place the dimension's value. In the Annotations node of the top view, notice that the driven dimensions you created is listed as a draft dimension rather than a model dimension. This is because the dimension is created and displayed in the drawing, not the model. Before finishing, let's test the new dimension to make sure it's driven by the geometry of the model. Edit the value of the model dimension and then regenerate the model. We can see here that by changing the geometry, the dimension that was just created has been changed to 20. Driven dimensions enable dimension schemes shown in your 2D drawings to be updated automatically.